Hi there. The following short video is going to explain uh, a technique we use when multiplying out thirds. And this technique is going to be really useful when we are what's called rationalizing thirds. This video won't show how to rationalize thirds, but it's going to show a technique that we're going to use in order to be able to do that in a later video. Okay, let's start off simply. You'll remember that if you multiply two thirds, for example, root 3 times the square root of 5, that's the same thing as the square root of 3 times 5, or the square root of 15. Now, this is a technique we're going to use in all these questions. So let's start off with question 1. The square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 3 times 3, which is 9. And the square root of 9 is simply 3. The square root of 10 times the square root of 10 is the square root of 10 times 10, which is 100. And the square root of 100 is 10. Question 3. The square root of 13 squared. Let's remember what a mathematician means when they write this. They mean simply root 13 times root 13. The square root of 13, or root 13, times root 13, is the square root of 13 times 13, which is 169. And the square root of 169 is simply 13. Now, looking at the next few questions, hopefully you'll spot a pattern about what's similar of all those questions. In case you don't, let's remind ourselves of some algebra. OK, imagine in algebra I'm multiplying two brackets together. And in the first bracket, I've got a number or a term or an algebraic expression and a different number or term or algebraic expression. And I've got the exact same two items in my second bracket. But in one of the brackets, I'm adding these, and in the other bracket, I'm subtracting these. The answer, or the expanded version, when you multiply out those brackets, is always a squared take away b squared. Let's recap. If you're multiplying two brackets with the same terms in each bracket, an a and a b, an a and a b, but in one bracket you're doing a plus b, and in another bracket you're doing a subtract b, the answer is always the first number a squared subtract the second number b squared. It's called the difference of two squares. Difference of two squares. It's a technique that comes up a lot in mathematics. OK, let's go on and use that to work through these problems. a plus b times a minus b. 10 plus root 3 times 10 minus root 3. The answer is simply the first number, 10 squared, subtract the second number, root 3, squared. 10 squared is 100, root 3 squared is 3, 10, 100 subtract 3 is 97. Question 2. 1 plus root 4 times 1 minus root 4. a plus b times a minus b. The first number, 1 squared, subtract the second number, root 4 squared. 1 squared is 1. Subtract root 4 squared, which is 4. 1 take away, 4 is minus 3. Next question. First number squared is 7 squared. Subtract root 6 squared. 7 squared is 49. Root 6 squared is 6. 49 take away 6 is 43. Next one. First number is root 6. Root 6 squared subtract the second number is 2 squared which is 6 take away 4 which is 2. The very last question a plus b times a minus b 3 root 6 times 3 root 6 is 9 root 36 subtract 2 squared root 36 is 6 9 times 6 is 54 so you get 54 take away 4 which is 50.